What's going on, everybody? My name's Tyler. This is Sean. We're Rendered Reality, and thank you for joining us on Coffee and VR, your weekly VR podcast. Yes, it feels good to be back Finally. in the driver's seat, man. And I don't have oh. to do the intro anymore. When you were gone, I had to do the intro every time because oh, I always on. make you do it. I'm like, I come hate on, doing man. the intro, so it was terrible. So finally, I didn't have come to do on. the intro. Is that the today. worst part of your day is to have to Absolutely. talk to everybody? Like, come on. I, know. I just hey, hate opening you, up. I'm fine after that. I didn't want to do this, dude. <laughs> you know, I didn't even want to do this whole show in the beginning. I'm like, I don't want to be on the camera. I'm like, I'm I know, a behind the camera guy. Like, I'm good on that. You I'm know, good but, now, though. I just don't like to open. I get too nervous at first. But then once I hear you talking, I'm like, I'm okay. I got this. Like, okay. All right. We're good. We're going. Yeah. Oh, man. No, but I am. It's really, really, really good to be back. Um, it's good to see everybody in chat. German Rifter, all the regs. It's good to see you guys, man. Um, but yeah, back here. Death and tunes. thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Huge, huge thank you to Alex Skiva Gamer Tag for filling in. Yeah. Um, sitting great here, guys. man. You guys did a great job. I had a blast. Um, I had an absolute it blast. It was great watching the second show. I missed the whole first show live. Um, it was a little chaotic, man. So Saturday oh, was, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if anybody didn't know why I left and, and why we, I went on vacation, right? We took my wife, we went down to Florida, um, and we drive, um, my wife doesn't typically like to fly and I prefer driving myself anyways. So we, uh, oh yeah, here you go. That's from Tyler's yeah, drone right footage of down in Florida. Yep. He playing in the background while he's talking about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll make this super fast. Um, I'll, I'm going to breeze through this anyways. German Ger rifter. Hang on. Cheers, German man. rifter. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> he I, said, I need some coffee anyways, dude. He yeah. said $5 for the podcast, $5 for beard grooming products for Sean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this yeah. thing takes a long time. You get out of the shower, yeah. you got to comb it. You got to dry it. You got to put like beard oil in. It's crazy. Rizzle dude, rock. Right? More coffee to calm the nerves. Oh, thank you. Cheers, Rizzle. Cheers, awesome. Rizzle. Cheers, man. Cheers, you guys. I do. Much appreciated. It, much appreciated yeah. all right so so anyways that's i need coffee so bad i've been craving i've been staring at it here anyways um okay so driving down to florida i was trying to watch the show playing through the car and all that stuff right i'm going through west virginia and if anybody's driven it in the states you know it's very hilly and curvy um i had a brake caliper on the car lock up on me on the highway basically um it started as a vibration and basically locked up i limped it off to an exit um, sort of got it fixed, pinched the brake lines off, drove another two hours on no front left brake. Um, very dangerous. Couldn't <laughs> even watch the show. So got there, got it all fixed. We got down to Florida after like a 19 hour drive. Um, anyways, it was a lot of fun. This was shot in St. Augustine right here. Uh, and then the rest of it was shot in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, it was beautiful. We had a great time. Um, good weather. Um, not a whole lot of VR playing. I, it was, we were so busy trying to get to the beach and sitting on the beach the whole time. That yeah. What was, was the weather? Nice. What was the weather like down there? Weather was like 83, oh, so nice. 89. Every, every day was different yeah. between there. So this yeah, drone, was, this drone footage looks really good too. And we've talked about, we got some drone talk going on in the discord. Uh, sometimes, uh, I know gaming science teacher just posted, uh, you'll see her mugshot in a little bit, uh, of some uh, drone stuff. And uh, this is shot on the DJI, uh, uh, DJI, what is it called? Uh, Mini 2. This Mi is the Mini 2. Mini 2, yeah. It's so. tiny. I should have brought brought it over, but it, it's it's tiny, man. It's so small. Yeah. Uh, For some great. reason, our audio is cutting out again when we're talking over each other, so you keep cutting out when I'm talking. Just a, just a heads up. I don't know why it's doing that. But, uh, but yeah, the, the drone video looks awesome from uh, the that that drone and i actually really want to get one because it's tiny and we actually showed it on the show a long time ago tyler actually took it off and started flying it a little bit hovering it on the show which was crazy what but is that? oh that's weird yeah it stopped it must have been long but uh michael fedler says always look forward to watching the show happy saturday crash land looks fun thoughts uh yeah. crash land is fun I, i've played it. it's, a, it's a difficult game it, it's a hard game but it's it's fun it is a i mean almost like a wave shooter but you're free to move around you have levels that you kind of have a time uh an amount of time you have to make it through and fight off all these enemies and crazy huge spiders and all these crazy bugs and stuff and then to make it to the next level but it's difficult and it's quite a bit of fun uh my one thing i don't like about it is i just wish it had co-op it'd be so much fun with a friend but it's a good game i like it it's fun but it it's current too you know yeah, I mean, it, it just came out back that far though too do because they've They've had that out for a long time. Because wasn't it the demo before? Yeah. Well, it wasn't out. That like, was a... Uh, that no, was, no, I know. It was part of uh, something. It was like DK1, DK2 days. It was right. kind of like a test bed kind of thing that they were using. Uh, and then it actually it actually turned it into a game. And it's actually on the Quest Store. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So we got a lot of people in chat. Chad Williams said, love drones. Uh, oh, dude, I know. Yeah. Delirium Drew, I want a drone. But seems like you got to drop over a grand to get a decent one for recording that won't crash on you. That, no. that Mini no. 2, though, no. that's like 450 yeah. bucks. 
449 bucks. It will literally fly for half an hour too. It's incredible. Yeah. 4K footage, 4K at 30. I mean, it's it's great. It's, it's hard to beat. You don't have to have a license, like right? Because yeah. it's underweight. Correct. Yeah. It so. doesn't have to be registered with the FAA in the States. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. It's but really yeah, cool. It's, it's awesome, man. Highly recommend it. Yeah. At least look at it. It's super, yeah. super cool. You'll learn all kinds of stuff on the Coffee and Drone show. That's, that's coming up right after this one. <laughs> that's, that's after the break. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, mug yep. shots, uh, throwing these up here now. We had a bunch of new ones. Thank you so much for the new people on the mug shots. Uh, I, I added them in to the last video. I deleted a couple from the beginning to kind of roll through new ones. Uh, but yeah, awesome mug shots. If you haven't joined our Discord, make sure you join. But uh, I love these things. But so this week, uh, we got some kind of big stuff this week. We've been, sure. uh, we've had a couple really big weeks in, in VR. Yeah. Yeah. And this week, we got some pretty cool topics to talk about i think today and and one of them is just the fact that app lab uh on oculus is is blowing up it's just insane like there's new stuff added it seems like all the time uh stuff i wasn't expecting to see on there uh like the uh, gorilla tag i wasn't really expecting (laughs) to see that on there that hit i think yesterday uh and it's been really actually pretty awesome i've been following uh bmf's uh website and he posts everything that is new oh, yeah. to App Labs as well as things that are coming soon. And I really like that he has the coming soon yeah, section too. That, yeah, yeah, so that kind of gives you a little bit of heads up. And uh, But it's really, it's been a lot of stuff. And from, I can't remember where I read this. I read this somewhere that Oculus has actually had to hire more people to try to get through all of these App Lab submissions. And if you're not familiar with App Lab, it's basically like, a backdoor system to get games onto your quest without having to have a a PC for side loading or anything like that. Uh, You can just search the title in your Oculus app or whatever, and it'll come up all the way at the bottom under app labs. But if you go to the website and that's the way I was doing, I was searching it and they don't always seem to show up well, but if you go to like BMF's website or something like that, then you can actually click the link. It'll take you to the Oculus store and then you can either hit download. Some of them are purchased. You do have to purchase some of them. Some of them are free. Uh, I played a couple of them this week. We're going to talk a little bit about, but uh, if you want to, I don't know if we have BMF's website in the link, but it's questapplab.com is what it is. So it's pretty easy, questapplab.com if you want to check that out. But I'm curious, has anybody else been playing? And let me know in chat, have you been playing some of the App Lab stuff? Is there some real gems that have stuck out to you? Because really there's so much stuff on there. Like I can't keep up with it all. And, you know, I'm seeing things that interest me and then I hop in and play them and stuff for a little bit. And there's other things that I kind of pass up. And there are reviews and stuff on there which help, you know, but a lot of them don't have a lot of reviews right away because, you know, they're not going to get the exposure that a game on the main store gets. You know, there's still a lot of people that don't even know about this App Lab stuff. But But here's my thing. So we hear from like a lot of developers and stuff that it is very, very hard to get through the approval process for Oculus, right? For the regular store, yeah. Yeah, and that maybe what, like 1% of games are getting through actually that are getting submitted, which is understandable because we know what, you know, games can look like on Steam and stuff, you know, that start coming through and just really aren't worth anything. So is this, you know, if there's a line of, you know, all these devs with all these great games that are like one step from being approved, I think it's a great way to get them onto there. I do. I mean, yeah. I think it's I think it's awesome and it's well needed. Yeah, um, I still think it's weird that it, it's not just like some sub menu somewhere I know, on the I Oculus know, I agree. that you can see them. Hopefully, it goes that and like it's like a give the warning. You know, still that's fine, right. but it's it's really strange. And uh, I saw the gaming science teacher said. Uh, she said, I recently described it as a secret menu at a coffee shop. <laughs> which right. Is, sure. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, which I get, but I don't think it should be. I don't know. I feel like there should just be a one click or one way access to it and not to have to like do all this like yeah. work around. You know I what mean, I mean? The websites do make it easier and you can still use side quests that will oh. list them out too and you can get to it through there. Uh, but if it's a little strange. So you oh, got like a poll it. going on for tried app lab yet. And I'm surprised 58% said no. Yeah. I guess I'm not too surprised because it's, it's still it's a hassle, just a, it's a, wor- a yeah. little bit of a workaround. It's still a little sure. bit easier than having to side load through side quest. You know, you don't have to plug into the PC. You don't have to have a computer or anything like that. Right. It is a little bit easier, but yeah, I'm surprised. Yep. But I mean, there, and it's not everything on there isn't great. I mean, everything that I've tried and looked at and stuff, not everything on there is awesome, but it's sure, it's a lot of it is awesome. And some of it's okay. You know I mean? And some yep. of it's still, you know, not quite a finished product, I, I suppose yet and stuff. Sure. But I mean, didn't one you of, have some, uh, some footage from the, uh, uh, the boxing one yeah so i didn't put my footage on here i this is just the uh, okay. trailer but this is one that i was really interested in because i love thrill of the fight uh, that's right. one of my favorite workout games it will absolutely kick your butt i mean 
it will have you gasping for air. At least me, maybe some people are much better shape than me, maybe not. But even Dana White, you know, owner of the UFC, he talked about playing that and he was like barely able to breathe it. He's like, I'm telling you guys, this this quest headset, I'm sure Matt Sarah probably uh let him onto this quest too and and put him in there. But he was like, Oh my goodness. He's like, you know, I I train and I have trained. You know, he said he doesn't train as much as he used to, but he said this thing will absolutely destroy you, like kick your butt, (laughs) make you tired. One of the best workouts you can get. Like, and that was coming from Dana White, you know, and I thought that was kind of cool. But but getting back to Thrill the Fight, I'm a big fan. You know, Thrill the Fight 2 is coming out. Yep. This one, I saw this, and I was like, oh, this looks really cool because I love Thrill the Fight. Uh, this yep. has boxing, has the training mats and all that stuff, as well as street fighting. So bare-knuckle street fighting on there, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this is $5. But does it live up, though? But does it live yeah, up? So, like, compare, you know what I mean? So this is 5 bucks. This is $5 on the App Lab. And I think Thrill of the Fight 2, or Thrill of the Fight 1 is $10, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's $10. Honestly, if you're going to spend the money, I would just spend the $10 and get through the fight. And I think it is a better game. This one is good and I liked it and it, and it was cool, but it didn't have the same feel and it's hard to explain. But when you are actually making contact and punching the, the the character in the game it just felt more rewarding and more something about it felt better and thrill the fight sure. where this one is a little bit a little bit lackluster in that area and the movement you know the guy that you're boxing against or fighting against you know their movements are a little bit more janky and a little bit you know it's just not as cleaned up as throw the fight and with throw the fight two coming man i'm so excited for that but right and i get it though but I, you know a lot of times i hear people like hey i have five bucks to spend on a game what should i get so right there's your answer. I mean, it, it hits a five dollar price point. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's so not much you can people, get for five bucks on the regular correct. store. So maybe people don't want to spend ten dollars or would rather buy two five dollar games off there and get two experiences. Yeah, so yeah, I, I mean it, for each to each his own. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean I, I think mean, it was cool. And I, I like right. the street fighting aspect and I thought that was kind of cool, you know, and stuff. Yep. But I, I think that Thrill of the Fight is a is a better game for sure. And uh, somebody mentioned yeah. Creed uh uh that they have Creed and, and that's a really good boxing game too. I like Thrill of the Fight better than Creed though, actually, but uh, yep. Yeah, I, I mean, it's cool. I mean, they, I love that there are things on there and that these developers can get some exposure, maybe some feedback, you know, where they can make the games better and eventually, you know, as they improve them, maybe eventually get them it's, on the regular store. For me, it's really weird. Like, I like I like to play these and try them, but I think after I play them, I'm kind of done with them. Like, there's nothing that brings me back into them, I guess. Even throw the fight. I don't know why. Yeah, I just don't, nothing about it makes me really want to go back in new coffee supporter john and asto says still my favorite part of saturday mornings mine is playing with my kids at the park yeah that's we can't beat that we're not trying to compete with that that's for sure but no thank you that that's the uh buymeacoffee.com the link is in the description great way to support us we love that and we love coffee so yeah thank you so much for that uh donation that's really cool so 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 my coffee I, i i've talked about it earlier on patreon this morning um but my coffee doesn't taste like white vinegar i'm so glad oh yeah yeah, so we, glad, we, we did put out a Patreon video this morning, but you said that you descaled your coffee thing and you were scared that it was yes. going to taste like... Uh, it's so good, dude. Yeah, oh, I miss awesome. good coffee. I miss being here. I miss being home. <laughs> For sure. We missed you. Everybody missed yeah. you, but we had some great guests. Yeah, I don't still. know about that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so, so you said that games like these don't bring you back? Throw of the Fight doesn't bring no, you back? No, they don't. Like, oh, there's man. Nothing... It is such, but it's such a good workout. And Throw of the Fight was... I love the game, but it was a little bit of a disappointment because it didn't take that long to get through the game. Like you, We needed sure. more... Uh, opponents and longer, you know, title fights and all kinds of stuff. So that disappointed me a little bit with Thrill of the Fight, but just the core mechanics of Thrill of the Fight, I thought was excellent. And I still play that game. I've played that game quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I'm I'm, I'm so drawn to like racing games and shooting yeah. games yeah. that it's hard for me to like get the same excitement out of something like that. So right. I guess in my time, that's worth it for me. What am I going to go play? You yeah. know what I mean? Um, like watching Lincoln Clay's, you know, send us his video yeah. of uh, racing and stuff. And every time yeah. I go watch somebody's, I'm like, all I want to do is be in there racing with them. You know what I mean? It's well, like, I mean, that's everybody kind of has but, their core games that they go to. You know, there's stuff that they love. They're, they're bread and butter, yeah. you know, oh, but, yeah. but I like Arcades, that. I love yeah. I love the aspect of the fitness stuff in VR though. And especially with, you know, a lot of, you know, I was sick for a while and I lost quite a bit of weight and muscle mass and, you know, strength and everything. So this has been a way to help me kind of just get some of that back. And I've been trying to utilize some of this. And I have, I have something really cool. I'm working on coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that, but it's kicked my butt. So it's been taking a little bit longer because I need time to recover in between. So please tell uh, me, please tell me you did what I told you, please. I don't even want to know, but just, Please I don't do even that. know. I don't even remember what you told me. So <laughs> you'll have to remind or text me or something. I uh, will, uh, because if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be mad. I, I'm not. Oh, oh, oh I, think, <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. But, uh, but uh, so, it so in chat, the best video ever. So in chat, Sampler19 said, I didn't even know I liked boxing before VR. And, and it, oh. yeah, I mean, it's, 
I don't know. I love it. I think Thrill of the Fight is an awesome game. Yep. Uh, Creed is a good game, too. Yep. Thrill of the Fight coming to Del- Delirium Juice had that. I'm so excited yep. for that. It's going to have multiplayer. So oh, I think that is going to be absolutely Skiba, insane. Cheers, man. Skiba Thank you for check. covering Alex and Chad. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Awesome yep. to have guys. you guys. We got to do man. that again. Everybody really loved that. After the fall, too. Get four I heard of it, them man. I, I said it in chat when four you guys were on. We're, four we're playing, cup. man. Yeah, we're we playing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, for sure. For sure. So, Hussein X, Liberty, uh, Mad Wookie, Delirium Drew, Obscure, Obscure Nerd VR in here, Paradise K, he VR with Spry the Guy, Alex He's, Wolf. He wants. He just, I'm going to send oh, him yeah. that freaking punchy, man. Yeah, he needs one <laughs> for real. So, yeah. Uh, but I mean, App Lab, check it out. There's a lot of cool yeah. stuff coming oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, it's uh, yeah. another one that I just wanted to mention. We don't have a, a trailer or anything yet, but Ultra Wings 2. This is another one. You liked Ultra Wings because you're loved it. you liked loved flight it, stuff. Man. Yeah, and that yes. was a great game. This is uh, this is just like a GIF that they posted oh, on Twitter. That's so good. And, but it, it and it's the quality is not going to be good because it's just a GIF. But it even shows like this having gunships on our gun right. turrets on this. It looks like and shooting something yeah, on the bridge. Yeah, yeah so that looks there. really cool. I mean, I could pick this thing apart for hours um yeah. this is pc footage even though it's a uh, it doesn't know, look good because it's, it's a gift right. so quality don't don't look at the quality of the video yeah, it, but, it doesn't look good but, but you can look at some of the quality like look at the reflections like of the light bloom on the see it yeah, on the, yeah. the hood of it so yeah you're right there are a lot of really cool things that they're doing so it's not going to be as animation-y, but it still is, but I, I love yeah. it. I, and I, I imagine it it's awesome. going to come to Quest 2. They didn't confirm that yet. Uh, I'm sure some of that has to do with Oculus on the back end. They don't sure. allow you to say certain things sure. until certain dates and stuff, but... They haven't confirmed multiplayer not yet either, which yeah. is the one big thing that would just make this game for me. So yeah, please, for sure. please, please, please give Here's us multiplayer. Some images. Here's some images that they posted yep. a while back on their uh, Twitter of some playing stuff. And I mean, it looks really good. And if you haven't played this game yet, it's it's a really good game, the, the first yeah. one. So I'm really excited to see the second one. I'm glad to see they're working on something. And there's a lot of gameplay in it because it's, yeah. I mean, a true like open world flying game, right? Yeah. With um, yeah. you know time trials and stuff to fly through and different you know levels to gain. There's a lot of gameplay in it, uh, and it's I think it's 15 bucks, you know, on the yeah. quests. I don't sure. remember something like it's that. It's a great game. Yeah. Super. So super Delirium fun. Drew said it, Ultra Rings was my first VR game. Uh, nice. German That's Richard said I'm too, so though. ready for Ultra Wings 2. Paradise Case said it looks a lot faster faster than ultra wings one which yeah. which that's one of my things in vr is i want to feel speed you know i want yeah. games that make me feel like i'm going fast and sometimes the flight games don't do that for me because you know you're high above the ground and stuff so but i like to even get close to the ground close that's objects and i like to feel right fast but some of them yep. still don't make you feel like you're going that fast and i don't know why i really like to feel speed like z race uh z race actually made me feel like i'm going fast you know i need to hop back into that game i, I haven't played it this past week i do I, I really do enjoy that game so i'm curious if yep. anybody else picked that up i know gt's been playing it uh, some other people have been playing. It's it's a fun game, so I do look well, forward to jumping uh, back into that. Well, Raza and Chat mentioned uh, Warplanes, and yeah, I do yeah. want to check that one out. I keep I I just have had literally zero time even this week being yeah. home. I was playing. Um, that's been, another one I played on App Lab. Was the uh, oh crap? What was it called? The the uh, the World War Two uh, plane thing. It's like the arcade kind of one. I'm trying to think of what it was called. Now. Oh. Uh, I just played yeah. that yesterday. Oh, no, now they just said Warplanes. Um, uh, 1976. Yeah. 1976. Yeah, yep. so uh, I did play that last night. I also tried uh, Tiny Castles and Gorilla Tag. I-, I tried some Gorilla Tag. I have no idea what I'm doing in that game. I know everybody <laughs> talks about it like crazy. How it's the greatest thing ever. I jumped in there the and like, yeah, yeah, you have to like move your arms and grab right. things. And I just felt like I was going so slow. I was like, this can't be right. So I was just playing around in the intro, just trying to learn the movement. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to try this play something else for a little while yeah. so i figured maybe me and you can jump in there because it is multiplayer i don't know if we can link up or yep. not i'm not sure how it works but people say it's like the funnest thing ever the graphics are terrible it Man. looks like trash but everybody says it's so much fun everyone, so I guess that's everyone the, in uh, chat obscure nerd uh, mark everyone's saying that warplanes is great man i'm gonna yeah, have to yeah. get in I haven't weekend. played that yet either, that's and awesome. I have that on my list because I think it was me and GT that were talking about that. And I put it on. I have a VR list of things I want to do and things because I forget it. There's so much okay. stuff coming out all the time. Yeah, I put that in there. I still have not played that one yet, but I, I have played a bunch of other stuff on App Lab and stuff like yep. that. But yeah, it, uh, App Lab is cool. I mean, I'm. I mean, there's just so much stuff. I mean, I don't even know what we're gonna see next week. You know what I mean? It's like the sure. thing is with Oculus Store, you wait till Thursday every week pretty much to yeah. get the new releases. This is kind of stuff kind of popping up all the time, which is kind of. Cool. I like I, honestly, it's the perfect day for me because like Friday on is fair game for VR time. So yeah. I love that they come out on Thursday and I can be browsing and know what I want. And then over the weekend, I'm like, cool, that's what I'm playing. So yeah, yeah, that's we're playing we're playing for me now, man. It's yeah. awesome. So uh, another one that is coming up is uh, Floor Plan 2. And this is the second one. So this is, they had the first one. I never played the first one, did you? No, I yeah, didn't. I, uh, I don't think. You know what? 
No, I don't think I did. I was. Did they have a something out real early on this for the Go? Did they have? Uh, I don't I'm trying to think, think or maybe so. it was a different game by them. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I didn't um, know Warplane but, had co-op. Paradise Decay said, "Do Warplanes co-op?" That makes me even more want to play that's it now. Sick. Yeah, everybody's yeah, saying well, it's awesome though. Everybody's saying yeah, that's sweet. And Obscure Nerd said, "Gorilla Tag is funny, but not great in my opinion." That's what I've heard a lot of. You know, it's yeah. not a great game, but it's it's funny. And Lisa yeah. said, "I do not like Gorilla Tag at all." I've heard both sides. I've heard some people say it's awesome, some people say it's terrible, and some people are like, "Eh, it's okay. It's funny. It's okay." You know what I mean? True. But but yeah, I, yeah, I haven't yeah. played the first one. This looks this looks great. I, I really like that. This looks awesome. I love this kind of style of games. I don't know why. I always fall back into these like i don't care about i mean i don't know visually it does look good though right i mean it doesn't it's look bad it's just yeah. the art style yeah. yeah i like the cartoon look to yeah. it i do because i feel like i'm in something i couldn't be in in real life you know yeah. what i mean yeah that's true. i don't know yeah i so think that... it was um which one virtual virtual reality that's mm. the one that really sold me you on, love like, that one that yeah, kind of stuff love i love that, that game man yeah that was a great game i like that yeah, it was um, a cool game inception feel yeah. of games and mm. where you really have to think about you know stuff yeah, Love so that. this is coming April 1st, 2021. I don't think, I haven't heard anything about a Quest, I don't think. Uh, right. Coming to, oh, it is coming to Oculus Quest PC VR platforms on April 1st, so it is coming to there Quest. I can't, yeah. I can't keep all these things straight all the time. I know. But uh, they're promising a much bigger experience with, with the second iteration, with Floor Plan 2. So I'm, I, like I said, I didn't play the first one. I'm guessing it wasn't a super lengthy game. So Very this fun. one should Very be, fun. oh, just like Ste- Stephen Je- Jeffrey said, I like Floor Plan over way too quick. So I'm guessing it was definitely not right. a long enough there experience where this one is supposed to be a, a lot longer. Uh, they, they're saying the game will remix puzzles uh, when you've beaten them to extend challenge. It also confirms that there will be at least one free post-release expansion. Uh, the main game itself is gonna be 24.99 so right yeah it'll be interesting to see i mean i think there's gonna be a good quest title for sure i think you know graphic style and stuff yeah. i think i think it'll lend well to the quest but greg's vr wants some uh cookie monster he wants some cookie sesame monster. street vr man that'd be sweet <laughs> Did you see, right? like, they put out oh a new God. video of the Ninja Turtles, uh, like a side-scrolling Ninja Turtle game, and I loved we the Ninja Turtles. We just talked about that. Remember? Last show I was on, I think we talked we? about it. Probably. Yeah. But it's not, Turtle, it's not for VR. It's not for VR. I, I, I know, want I, I want a Ninja Turtles VR game. I think that would be yep. awesome. I loved those 90s movies that were, like, the realistic-looking turtles. Those were the, the, at least the first two. The third one, eh. But those two movies, right. I still watch those. I have them on DVD. I love those things. Oh, they were so good, but I would love a Ninja Turtles game. That would sure. be, like, a, a dream come true of mine a little bit. So. Urkel's blaming me for the stunted quest graphics because i like the uh, art style of like the cartoons oh, yeah <laughs> we are seeing that happen i mean we are seeing the yeah. you know things being built for the quest and pc kind of getting sure. the quest port instead of you know in the early days when the first quest come out you know everybody was trying to port the pc vr version down to quest it's right we're definitely seeing now some of the different. opposite yeah which is uh, a little bit of a bummer i mean i do love it's my quest and i love you know the games coming out for the quest and stuff but yeah it is i mean it's yeah i hate to see the, the high-end graphics go away though shredder's revenge right. yeah yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would love, I would love some, oh, yeah, Teenage Mutant Turtle game is making people freak out yeah. nostalgic, nostalgically. I love the turtles, for real. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's yep. great. So uh, we did talk a little bit a while back about, uh, I guess it's been a couple, I don't even know how long, because originally it was kind of a leak about the Quest 2 getting 120 hertz mode, right. and then it was pretty much confirmed. Uh, and now they're saying it's been delayed, so it's going to be de- delayed to the second quarter, 2021, uh, but that is going to be an experimental feature. So that's going to be interesting. I mean, the quest does just keep getting better. And we talked about that when it first came out, the quest too, how it's going to continue to evolve and get better. And that's one of the things that could potentially, you know, get better know. at 120 Hertz. Pretty crazy. Absolutely. So Tony digital Tony. says Cheers, mate. best in the biz funds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I don't know about that, appreciate but, that, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Definitely yeah. appreciate it. So. Best in the BS funds. We're just on your BS. <laughs> yeah. This is what we do on Saturdays, yeah. dude. Like, I, I, it's just, I know, I know. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It was yeah. hard, like, driving. I know. Like, it's not tough. being able to be here. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so weird to, like, hear it all. And I'm watching the show, and I'm, like, talking out loud. And my wife's I like, know. who are you talking like, like, I want to say answer talking to, that. to And I'm like, oh, like, I feel like I'm, like, should be talking about I totally about agree. You know? We talked about going on so a vacation hard. for our anniversary to Outer Banks oh. in May. And, uh, and the wife was like, well, what are you going to do about the show? And I was like, well, I don't know. I was like, maybe somebody could fill in for me with Tyler. I was like, right. or I can just take some lights, a green screen in my laptop and do it from the beach. I don't know. Cool. So, yeah, right. there so, you go. Oh my so we'll, if she doesn't get too mad about that, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I couldn't but. do it driving. I think there would be a liability. I don't have a Tesla, Probably so not. I can't like Probably space out completely. Idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I don't know. They're saying anywhere from April 1st to June 30th is when the 120 Hertz could roll out. Like obscure nerd said, it's going to be interesting to see what that I'm 120 just not, does what's it going to do to excited. battery life what's it going to yeah, do? yeah i'm not excited for it man i, I think it's cool it. but I yeah i think it's cool I mean, but why, i don't know i mean why? It, why do we need it why i we 
I just don't feel like it's a necessity. Like you're maxing stuff out. You're you're overheating stuff. You're Potentially, pushing yeah. everything, your battery, everything. And if it doesn't make that big of a difference for somebody, you shouldn't be running it. You should probably run it on the lowest setting that is good for you. You know what yeah. I mean? I it'll be know. it'll be because some people are more susceptible. I don't know. I We're gonna have to see. I'm gonna how... cancel that out, Sean. You might want to turn that off. Why? By the way, that's not an actual super chat. Is it not? Oh, yeah, we had some weird things. Oh yeah, it's so weird. We had this happening earlier. Like all these super chats started coming through from uh, like old ones. I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, so uh, yeah. See, I'm gonna turn it back on. See if it happens again. So no, I don't just know. Leave it off for a minute. Trust me on this one. <laughs> it was really weird. I don't know why I started doing that earlier. We were just sitting here and we're like, "Well, there's super chat," and we're like, "Well, there's no." And we're like, "No, those are old ones." Like, what is going yeah. on? So we just started sending a bunch of old ones through. Not sure what's yeah. up with that. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah. but Thank yeah. You. Steve FM and Mad Wookie for last week's Super Chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. But yeah, yeah I don't, it'll be interesting. The benefits of 120, I mean, I get it. You know, Reckoner says the benefit from 120 and 11 table. I know, the fast-paced stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah the fast stuff. Yeah, would. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you get more in latency issues than you do in the hertz for the panels. I don't know. I yeah. I don't know, man. It, That's hard. I, I mean, I'm down for them pushing the envelope as long as I, it's a toggle button. Like, give us the option to turn it on or off. You know, like, if we don't need it and we want to save some headroom, turn the 120 mo hertz mode off. And it's not going to work for everything. It's not going to be every game. It's going to be certain apps that are going to be able to run it. Uh, you know, things that are probably less intense and... I mean, I'm all about pushing the envelope. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, right. you know, I mean, maybe we can get this 120 hertz and maybe they've had it optimized enough to where it's not really going to hurt battery life. It's not really going to hurt uh, heat and stuff. I don't know. I mean, they've done some, they've done some truly magical things in the Quest platform. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. I'm going to try it out, but I don't know that it's something that I have to have. You know what I mean? Like I, I use... Know. I use the index usually in 120 hertz mode, but I can switch right. back to 90 fine. hertz and I don't yeah. really notice it, a big difference. Exactly. You know, so, that's my point. Like, yeah. I would rather have better performance and and processor power and everything ha handling game side than I would worrying about pushing more, you know, yeah. frames and stuff. I, that's me. I mean, I. We'll see. But to each his own. I so, know some people love it. Some people love yeah. the high hertz. Stuff. And some people and I, notice I it. it. Some people notice Correct. it more than others. Some people are a lot more susceptible. It's weird. To I it, notice but... it on TVs in a minute, but in VR, I don't. I don't know yeah. if my focus is like too in depth on other stuff. I don't yeah, know, man. I don't know. Uh. So Sanchez uh, MTZ44 says 120 hertz mode for Pop One, and and I, that would be cool. I don't know. See, like that, those kind of games are already. I feel like sometimes a little bit more intense to run. So sure. I don't know if we'll see that. Hey, I'm totally down could, if we do. I could get the uh, super jumps and Pop One higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could because actually we figured out when we were playing. Uh, if you were on, you allowed index, to say that, or is that like a hidden secret? <laughs> it's still. I mean, people know about it. After, most people, but that there's yeah. still some in there. But we figured that out that because we it was like me, you, and Jay Ham, and we were in there, and some of us could jump way higher than others, and we realized it was the ones playing on PC VR and it, on an index at like 120, 144 hertz. It actually allowed you to go way higher, which was really crazy. So right. yeah, 120 higher hertz mode on the quest. The yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get you <laughs> higher on your super jump. So that is that is true. So. So, yeah, Skiva right. said most games won't ever see 120 hertz. I agree with that. I don't right. think most of them will. But, no. yeah, we'll see. So, I think it's going to be interesting, yeah. though. Yeah, I think it's good they're still working on it. Yeah, they're still I pushing mean, the envelope. It, so exactly. They're still yeah, making the headset awesome. better. They're still improving it. Yep. They're still pushing uh, things forward. And uh, or, I did watch. Are they just backporting the next gen? Are they backporting the Quest 3 stuff they've already got done? Are Maybe they just like, well, if we have it stuff. for that, we could just use it yeah. on well, let's it talk about on the that. Quest 2. Let's talk about that right? because I mean, on there was a podcast or uh, uh yeah i guess it was a podcast i think gaming science teacher posted it in our discord mm. and i was listening yeah, yeah. to that uh and it was an interview with mark zuckerberg and he was talking about the fact that they're they're already working on next gen they're working on you know sure. three the quest three and quest four because you know he said uh the next three generations look like uh look like in hardware so he's saying what the next three generations look like and he said as a company you know you're always looking forward it's not like they're about to come out with a quest 3 or a quest 4 necessarily but they're always working on the next generation of the hardware technology i mean that's kind of Absolutely. what happens in the background of a company like that and uh, oh yeah they're working on that before the other ones even released to the public yeah, basically because yeah. that one's done so they're yeah. on to the next and i mean they, we've already seen stuff they've been working on with half dome and half dome 2 and stuff like that sure. and you know those were just prototypes but they're always working on the next thing so you know he right. there obviously is going to be a quest 3 at some point in time you know we Absolutely. don't know when that will be i can't imagine it's going to be this year i would think possibly next year but uh they're already working on that hardware now 
while to get it ready to test things to see what they want to do. So you could be right. They could be planning on a 120 hertz mode Quest 3 or Quest Pro or whatever, right. you know, whatever they're going to do. And they're using this uh, platform to kind of test some of those things. That's completely possible. I mean, it really is. Sure. So, and they also said that uh, looking forward that the, the technology is going to go towards uh, face and eye tracking. And that's going to be something that is going to be moving forward. And we're going to get into some of that because we got a lot of stuff from HTC this week that's coming up uh, on the show today. We're going to dive into some kind of deeper mm-hmm. conversation on some of that. But that 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 is what the future of VR is going to be. I think it's going to be a social, uh, you know, realistic avatars, face, eye, all that stuff. Of tracking so we are going to get into some of that and i just realized i haven't given any codes away today yet and i forgot and i was going to have to give oh, them all away at the end don't so. forget to turn the alert back on too oh yeah so hopefully we don't keep getting those through but uh we do have some codes to give away today we usually always do we always try to give some away these this is for void racer extreme on the quest which i actually really like and i haven't played it a ton but it is multiplayer so we need to jump in there with some people uh this is going to be a gift code so you're going to want to go to the game and then uh, redeem gift most of these quest codes are because we, we just purchased these uh but we do have gleam giveaway going on as well just want to mention that for the climb two that should be in the description i think there's only like two days i think it ends on sunday so maybe tomorrow. So that's almost over. If you haven't signed up for that yeah, yet, I guess uh, make, sh- make sure you do sign up for that. So, man, everybody in chat, you guys are awesome, man. I miss being here. But like all everyone with the 120 stuff, yeah, it's pretty mixed. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm curious. Actually, I'm gonna ask. Let's see. It's a good question to ask community. Um, Would you use the 120 hertz mode or leave it at 90 for the Quest 2? I'm gonna say, do you want 120 hertz? Obscure Nerd said Void Racer is cool. I like the game. Void Racer is a good game. So hopefully somebody gets that and uh, enjoys enjoys that one because I do like it. And I haven't played it a lot yet, but it is multiplayer. So I need to jump in with some people. But it's fun. Multi- everything. Everything needs to be multiplayer, I totally man. Agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. It's like, so, why? Why not? Come I, yeah, on. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's just a server. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, it is hard. It's hard for developers to just yeah. to make stuff multiplayer. It's not that yeah. easy. I wish it was. But. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I did want to thank the Patreons too. Uh, we, we got oh, a yeah. new Patreon last time. Uh, Robin uh, is our newest Patreon member. Uh, we have been trying to do some more stuff on there. Uh, we have a video that we just put up there this morning, a pre-show yep. stuff of our crazy shenanigans. So we've been trying to do more stuff of that, but huge, huge thank you to the Patreon supporters as well as all the people that do super chats and the coffee, buy me uh, It helps us to be able to give away some of these codes and all that stuff. So we really, really, really do appreciate it. But the yeah. funniest is when we're like setting up the show and stuff's coming through. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like... That happens sometimes, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, and make sure you subscribe too. Uh, we did just hit six thousand. Uh, we're coming up on our two-year anniversary of the Coffee and VR show, which we're going to do some special stuff for that. That's pretty big yep. for us. That it's pretty crazy. It's been two years already. Uh, so, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Our goal for this year is we want to try to hit ten thousand by the end of the year. We just hit six thousand subscribers, which is pretty big for us. Not up to us, though. It's up to you guys. Yeah, so. yeah, it's completely. Yeah. But if you look at the stuff at the analytics, you know, it says there's over 50% of the people that watch our videos aren't subscribed. So if those 50% would subscribe, then it it would help us out quite a bit. But I mean, we just, we we just appreciate you. I mean, you don't have to subscribe. That's for sure. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. If a hundred percent did, would that be 12,000, right? Man. No, I'm really bad at math, <laughs> even though that's really simple. Oh, come math. on. <laughs> I was going to say, that's really simple math. I can do that, but I don't, my brain doesn't even want to think about it. <laughs> come on, dude. But uh, can uh, we get into this, uh, some of the new merch stuff? Can we get into that real quick before we get into a couple quick. other things? Let's, let's go. Do we yeah. want to go to the let's movie go. theater? Do we want to go to old school movie theater? Sure. I mean, we don't, I, yeah, I love these scenes, man. What? We haven't seen this dude, in forever. Dude, I love these scenes. What was the, uh, um, what was the old, now this is going way back. Some people wouldn't even know this. Um, what was it? Where they watched the movies and there were the shadows of the guys. Uh, Somebody's going to know it in chat. Uh, they always movie do. theater two, uh, 2000 or something like that. Or, I don't know. I'm going to play this merch know, video while like we talk. So this is our newest merch video. I guess kind of put this together. <laughs> uh, we did post this on the Patreon. The uh, Patreon I got to see this a couple days early. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. But uh, So we got a whole bunch of new merch stuff. We had an artist, a really talented artist, come up with a bunch of uh, logos and stuff for yeah, us. Man. I have a hoodie on right now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I love the bearded uh, logo. We also have the Coffee and VR scene. Uh, we got our coffee mugs, shirts, hoodies. Uh, okay. We have a, a bearded bearded VR player. We also have a female character VR player, which is really cool. So Because we know there's so many girls and uh, women that, that love VR just as much as we do. So we wanted to make sure you know, that they were represented as well. So it's really cool. What, Dude, I love chat, that? man. I love chat. Everyone just nailed it. They like, what they say? you ask a question, they're on it, man. Mystery Science Theater oh, 3000. Yeah. Every, a whole close. bunch of Liberty, like, Alex, I could not Steve put it up together in my Zero head. cool. Everybody knew it like right away. It's so That's funny. Anytime we chat. can't think of a game or something, people always know it in chat. They always know. So 
Yep. Yeah, it's been That's crazy. Awesome. So, uh, so yeah, so check out the new merch store. It is up uh, with a bunch of new stuff on there. If you have some ideas for slogans and stuff like that too, like awesome, you know, VR yeah, right. slogans or something like that, let us know. Uh, you can let us know yeah. on our Discord. You can yep. let us know on here, uh, whatever you want to do. But it, pretty cool. We're pretty excited about some of this stuff. We are going to be doing a contest. And the way we're going to do this is that if you have rendered reality merch or if you buy merch, it's going to yep. be old stuff that you already have. You already have coffee mugs, shirts, whatever, or if you get new stuff, uh, post it to Instagram and Twitter and put hashtag RR merch. And we're going to let this run for about a month. That way everybody can have time to order things that they want to order stuff. And then we're going to put all of those names, everybody that posts with that hashtag, we're going to put those into a random selector and somebody's going to win either an $80 Steam gift card or $80 worth of games on the Oculus store. Yep. You pick one or the other because we know every, some people have Quest, some people use Steam VR, uh, so it's going to be your choice. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited to see uh, some people's pictures. You know, you can get creative. You don't have to be wearing it. You can put it on your dresser or on your, you know, put it on your dresser with your VR headset sitting on it. You can be wearing it. You can post a video clip, anything you want to do. Get creative. We love to see it. It's kind of like the mug shots. You know, we get very know, excited. Right? So it's cool. Yeah. So check that out. Looking forward to uh, to that. Here's a little thing. But yeah, I would so, drink RR coffee. I know, man. That's our dream. Yeah, our dream. we've talked about making like an mm -hmm. RR coffee branded thing. Yep. I just don't. We don't know yep. the full logistics to that, but it would be kind of cool. So we need a good coffee company to be on board. Yeah, for sure. So check that out. Hopefully, you know, we see some hashtag RR merch stuff. I, I love to see the pictures. Looking forward to it. And hopefully, you know, people are excited about winning either $80 Steam card or $80 in Oculus games. We, we don't have Oculus gift cards yet, which I'm still upset about. But what we'll do is you just let us know $80 worth of games that you want on the Oculus store and we'll buy them and we'll send you yep. the code. So, yep. yeah, um, so really cool. I'm, I'm excited. Yep. Like I said, run this for about a month. Uh, see how people can get creative and stuff. I'm excited. Just like to give you guys some stuff, man. It's just our appreciation. That's all it is. <sighs> Rizzle really Rock. Appreciate. He Rizzle. Said, more Cheers, merch. Man. Love my hat, dude. Color changer mugs. I mean, you guys made me excited for more yeah. coffee. Okay, so wait. A little uh, disclosure. Yeah, the color change I mug. I needed to I put you. in fine you. print down there. We don't actually <laughs> offer a color change mug yet. That was yeah. just kind of a special effect in the video, but... Uh, maybe someday we're going to possibly work on that and see if we can right. make that happen. But that's not available yet, the color change mug. But there are some other uh, coffee and VR and rendered reality mug stuff. But And like I said, let us know if you have some cool ideas for slogans. Uh, we have the yep. VR gamer one. We have coffee and VR. Uh, we have VR couple gamers or whatever that are like a couple on one. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. So make sure you check that out. But but we're excited yep. for that. Very excited. Ooh, Rizzle said he might have a connection. Oh, there nice. There you go. There yeah, we go. I would love a, to get awesome. a coffee yeah. company That's all we board. need right there. Yep, for yeah, sure. That would be really cool. Yeah, so. man, that's a good idea. We will be in touch. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So I did want to mention too, uh, Zero Caliber is coming to Quest. We talked about them before. Uh, yep. Their second quarter, 2021. Very excited for that. Uh, let's before I guess before we get into the uh, face oh. tracking and all that stuff, I want to talk about y'all. What were you saying? Oh, yeah, I'm still burnt on zero caliber man i've said yeah, it still no times, PvP. But... they've been testing it though pvp is coming they've been testing so <laughs> it is coming uh and but i want to talk about the new y'all so this was uh first i saw this from cast and cherry they put out video on it they found like video leaked video from this and uh this is so if you remember the y'all the first y'all they did a kickstarter it was kind of like that half uh right. bowl kind of thing and that thing. moved yeah. around you know and people liked it i mean people had good things to say about it i've been tempted to buy one this is the what they're calling the y'all too and this is more of a you know standard motion sim rig with a racing chair uh this image the image they put out was real dark so i lightened it up that's why it's a little bit grainy and stuff so you could see a little bit more but this looks pretty good we don't have a price they are planning on going to kickstarter with this as well you know like they did with the first one uh, the pricing on the first one was relatively decent. So I'm hoping that this is going to be, uh, priced a little Comparable. bit more competitively It'll, instead yeah. of, cause the real, I mean, you can spend a lot of money on a real high end motion sim rig. I mean, a lot of money. Oh, high end. You're yeah. talking minimum. Of I mean, grand. even yeah. low to mid end is still a lot of money for a motion sure sim is. rig, you know? Yeah. Low end. You can be in for about three, probably. I mean, all said and done. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, the upper twos, but yeah, it's. This piques my interest a lot more. I, and I know it, the you know, older one, the original Yaw, excited you. It didn't me that much. And yeah. I know it had good feedback and stuff from it. But I don't know, man. I just, it, to me, it wouldn't do as good as actual actuators because you're not getting that force. And for driving and stuff, I want that immediate hard feedback, um, that change of direction, 
the impact you have from it. And I just didn't know if that could ever live up to yeah, it. Yeah. And that, cause so I mean, that was this, ba basically wheels that sat that dish and it would kind of right. move you all around. Right. You were rolling basically in a half ball um, and it would move you around that way. So with this, it looks to be working a little <laughs> bit in between. So it looks like you're still rolling on an axis, but I don't know. And maybe yeah. because they're single axis, maybe it is more, you know, precise and a lot harder. But Again, I mean, it, it moves all around. If you watch the video, it, does, I mean, it I goes side to side, it goes forward and back. And that's right, the one thing you can see the lines underneath and yeah. on the sides, they, they rotate on that axis right. and they roll on it. Right. So same principle, different look to it. I do like the look a lot better. I like that they have the seat. Um, you can get all the mounts, which you could before. Um, yeah, the seat I, just does, looks more comfortable and more natural. Like looking at the sure. at the bowl one, you know, and uh, GT GT said old y'all VR salad bowl, and that exactly. you know, looking at it, know. it didn't look like something that no. was no. you know as I'm exciting driver, to man. get into. I'm yeah, li a literal driver. Like I've yeah. raced. Like you can't put me in a salad bowl <laughs> and think I'm gonna have fun. I'm sorry. Right. I know in VR you don't see it. I understand that, yeah. but I'm not going to have that sitting in my room. Yeah, like, this looks no. way cooler. I mean, just to have yeah. this as an art piece right. sitting in your room and you're not using it, this looks way cooler than it does right. uh, the yeah. old version. So I'm excited about this. The old version you could get, so the salad bowl one you could get for between $14.90 for the standard version and $19.90, so almost two grand for the uh, pro version. I'm right, not sure exactly mounts. Yeah, what the difference the is. I think the stuff. mounts and stuff. Uh, but, so, but, so if they could bring this one in you know, at $2,500, which I have a feeling is going to be more than three is what i would guess uh but if they could bring it in for you're... less than you're getting into a regular motion sim regular like you said they start out around three if they could bring it in for less than that I, less. I think i would be excited and possibly look into something like this yeah i i, I don't know i'm still uh, like a uh, technical glitch said yeah I was just gonna the say that. reality h3 one that is the one i would probably get just because of cost you know if yeah. i go to a full rig you're talking Big eight bucks. grand ten grand for the serious setup so yeah. I don't have that to burn. So I wish I did, but I, I have the real cars. I have that money. So I'd have to trade a real car to get that, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's true. I mean, it's no way. I mean, yeah. so, so I think I the price know. is going to be the big thing that I'm interested to see on this. That's going to be the make or break, yep. I think for this, but it looks a lot better than the first one. I'm excited to see what they do uh, with it. I, you know, I think this is going to be potentially a, uh, a pretty hot product, I think. And uh, GT GT yeah. said, my girlfriend is going to leave me the second I get a Yaw VR2. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, and the bad thing about some of these things, too, is, you know, people, a lot of people don't have real big VR spaces. So you're taking up a lot of space, you know, when you get a lot of these things. Like mine, I have a... Uh, uh, what is it right. called? The play seat challenge is what I have. So it actually folds up. It's like a racing seat kind of thing that folds up that I put in the closet and that one's pretty decent, but I, I would right. love some motion. I think if I had some motion, I would, I, I would be much more into the sim racing games than I am. And also for flight games, you know, for uh, Microsoft flight simulator, you know, our, our roller coaster games, which I, I don't know if people play a lot of roller coaster games, but it's something that people put a lot of people into in VR. So for somebody to try a roller coaster game for the first time and be in a motion sim rig, that's going to add even more, craziness to the mix sure but. i mean ultra wings i mean there's a lot of games that you mm -hmm. can play seated um uh, i wonder if like even it probably wouldn't support it but like phantom covert ops or something you know there's a lot of seated games that would be cool um yeah, i just I that one would that might be, might be kind of interesting actually right wouldn't they that be cool? the movement of the water and the, yeah that oh. was, i never thought about that awesome. one because like when you row it would turn wouldn't that be oh yeah, stuff that like that cool. like, any seated game huh, would honestly be super thought. cool so yeah. It's yeah, they could go places that you don't really think about. And yeah, uh, so I was just looking up the so the H3 on DOF is listed right now on sale for 1900. But then for the States, I know shipping's around 400 bucks, I think. So you're yeah. talking about 2400 probably with tax or is whatever. Is that complete though? Or is that just the base? That is uh, without the seat though, too, without the chair. So that's just. The base, the mounts for pedals, the mounts for steering wheels, stuff like that. Yeah, and you can get um, seats, seats pretty cheap. You can get hundred bucks. I mean, you can yeah, buy them hundred bucks locally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, pretty cool. So twenty five hundred. So if they come in at that ballpark, I feel like they might have something. Yeah. I mean, that's where it would have to be. I don't know. It's still expensive for most people to experience something like that in I a agree. game. And size. Um, I mean, it's a, it's sometimes sometimes just play space size. You know, not everybody has that much space, but. Right. I'm actually surprised. Well, and I guess they're forced out of it, but like, do you think this could have been designed for like arcades initially? Like, do you, or um, I think they're pretty much pro, like prosumer. Yeah. I mean, 
be my guess. I mean, but... for the first one, I mean, it was pretty much entry level, you know, getting into a motion True. sim rig. I mean, that was the most True. entry level uh, route, yeah, route you cheap, could go. Good, so, yeah, yeah I'm Wookie hoping. The, uh, H2. Sweet. Oh, nice. Huh. Nice. But I'm hoping they kind of stick with that entry level. You know, I'm hoping they kind of stick with the price point of getting in cheaper, you know, than, than a lot of the big companies. And that's going to be their draw. I, I don't know, though. That, I mean, this thing could be five grand. It's hard to say. But right. that's it, true. But I think the Kickstarter, I think I put the date down. I might not have because there's a Kickstarter for coming for the Tundra Lab stuff, too, as well. But I, I think the Kickstarter is coming pretty soon, if I remember. I don't know if that was in my notes, but. Yeah, coming soon to Kickstarter. They didn't give a date, just coming soon. So should sure. be coming pretty soon. We should have a date. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about that coming up. Look, if they if they hit a cheap price point, yeah, I'm it in. might be the way to go. I, I would be. I would be in. Yeah, I really would be. Yeah. Um, if they can come in for that like under two thousand, I would actually debate buying that then. Yeah. It's still scary to me. It's still scary, but I mean, it, it's got to be something, right? Has yeah. to be. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um. So I did want to mention too, real quick. Uh. For March 15th to March 19th is going to be GDC and there's going to be two Oculus sponsored events there. And I'm not as sure exactly what that means, but it should be interesting to see what we get out of GDC. Uh, We're going to have something from Oculus. So a little bit of breakdown. They're saying uh, future of gaming quality and connection. Uh, They're going to have Jason Rubin, uh, vice president is going to be speaking. Uh, There's going to be a squad up. So population one is doing something there. Social and multiplayer in VR with population one with Chia Chin Lee, co-founder and CEO of big box Uh, should be kind of interesting making great VR games, a postmortem on Skydance interactives, the walking dead saints and sinners. So some pretty cool stuff coming up. I don't know what, you know, I don't know that we're going to get any announcements or anything from this. We could, I don't know, but uh gdc it's going to be i'm sure virtual again it's going to be online but we should be seeing some pretty cool stuff coming out of that that's uh from march 15th to 19th so that is this coming week i believe right wouldn't wouldn't it be sick if that they did a population one and they had you know all 19 people you know playing and you know in like ready player one where when they where they die inside it goes red like mm-hmm. the unit if everybody could watch all 19 people and like they had a red light go on like over them when they died and stuff cool, yeah. and cool, like actually. you could watch them when you and died they like drop to their oh, knees so and their cool. thing turns around and they're like right? oh yeah. you know what i mean yeah, like right? kind of in the movie oh, that'd be that'd be gosh. awesome actually be amazing to watch so yeah, yeah. so that'll be interesting I, to see i'm keeping my uh, eyes out for that i'm gonna try to see as much of that as i can i was excited to see something coming up you know what i mean we don't I mean, we can't go to any of these events anymore, so we just got to find out online what happens, which kind of is a bummer, but yeah. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Let's get into uh, some of the HTC announcements because it's kind of frustrating me because that original image that we saw from HTC, we were like, oh, sweet, this is going to be their their next uh, headset. Yeah, we did a a bunch of the show last week on that with Skiva and Alex, and it ended up being a new Vive Tracker Puck is what they were actually uh, teasing in that and uh yeah that was a little bit i'm not surprised yeah so i'm really not surprised i mean it's yeah uh, we're still supposed to be getting a standalone headset from htc this year according to ceo from htc that did an interview you know we all saw that video it came out after the show last week everybody was posting it everywhere uh he stated that there was going to be a headset released this year but all the stuff that they've been teasing obviously we all thought was going to be a headset a lot of us did and it wasn't the things that they announced right now is the the face the mouth tracker and then the new vive uh puck yeah the new vive tracker and you can see it's it's smaller it's lighter the battery lasts longer but now we're uh, we got to talk about tundra labs as well too because their tracker is actually smaller uh right. supposedly gonna be a little bit cheaper and, and they, runs easier yeah they yeah yeah so i don't know i mean the thing with it running easier is with the vibe tracker you have to have a usb dongle for each vibe tracker uh yep. with the tundra labs you're able to run multiple trackers off of one usb dongle which is amazing because you you don't have to fill up i mean usb ports are always something that are you know worth a lot of money or a lot of space you know what i mean like you never right. want to fill all those things up we all have so many things we plug into usb so you got five vibe trackers you got five dongles plugged into your pc and this, and that this sucks. really confuses me because like with base stations and stuff you don't even have to have dongles right so why is it that we have to have all these separate ones for each one yeah, I like I, I don't know i i don't know i feel like there's stuff that, that comes out is either just lackluster or dated or too slow or i don't know i, I just I still, I just don't know if they have, do they have hope? Even if they come out with a great headset, when you, do they have the, you know, library to back it? Do they have 
the people that have it to back it. I don't, I yeah. just don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm wondering if uh, what this did for Tundra Labs, uh, this announcement, because I, I'm guessing Tundra Labs probably didn't know that this was coming, you know, and then they dropped well, sure. right beforehand. But uh, so the five tracker is supposed to be about 130 bucks is what they're going to cost. Uh, the Kickstarter yep. for the Tundra Labs is starting soon. And I believe those uh, the price is around ninety four dollars, I believe, to get one of those from uh, the Kickstarter. And I don't know what the price will be, you know, post Kickstarter, but. The thing is, is you have to buy multiples of these to really make it worth something, don't yeah. you? I mean, you can buy one if you want to use it for, um, you know, like live or something for camera placements for, you know, in game. Okay, you're buying one. But if you want it for like motion tracking and stuff, yeah. I mean, now I mean, you're buying at least two, if not four. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and so somebody said, uh, Delirium Drew said HTC making stuff for VR chat users and not much else, which that's my thought. Like, I'm not right. a big VR chat user. I know there are people right. that spend hours and hours, and this is all they do is they get is. trackers and they do full body motion stuff in, in VR chat, and that's all they do. And they spend hours and they love it. And for them, this kind of stuff makes total sense. For me, sure. I don't know that it makes sense because, I mean, if, if every game had this kind of support, you know, if I could go into contractors, I could go into population one, I could go into any game and get full support for body tracking i would probably be more interested in it not because i really need right. it but at least it would be kind of cool you could do some kind of crazy positions some i don't know it would be more interesting to me but it's not supported in everything you know so support is a big thing when it comes to buying accessories if you ask me if it's not supported by a lot of things and it's only one game and it's a game that i don't play very much I then know. well and on know. top of it is aren't most things going to inside out tracking anyways you know what i mean I so if they're developing a headset and coming out with something it probably should be inside out tracking which you know again leads to if you want something like this or other things you have to have base station so it's kind of yeah. an odd approach for me i just don't no, if I see this is the way of it going, I don't. Yeah, I, don't. I mean, the only thing that would be cool to me is that you know, if they're coming out with these vibe trackers, then maybe this standalone headset that they're going to come out with is going to be able to work with base stations as well. You know, so that you, maybe you could use these things with it. I, I don't know. I, you know, that's just a right. would be cool kind of scenario that popped into my head, but. Yeah, I right. don't know. And so talking about the Tundra Labs one, so their Kickstarter starts March 29th, uh, and they're supposed to be getting ninety four ninety nine is for what the trackers are going to be costing. And like we said, you only need one dongle. You need one dongle per tracker for HTC, where this will work with five. So you want to use five? Or wait, no, that could be wrong. I'm not sure how many. I Man, just I know. Just, that's what I mean. It's just, gosh. I mean, for that, now you're talking... 400 some dollars 500 and some dollars yeah. if you need four of them right. alone so this like if i had that money to burn i'd rather buy like a be haptic suit or something you yeah. know what i mean i just i don't know that's me that's yeah i agree personal. so so this said uh it's not given an exact number it just says multiple so it says the tundra labs can with a single usb port can connect to multiple devices so it doesn't give a specific number okay. it just says multiple sure. so i'm guessing two or three maybe i'm not sure but that's still better i think and they're still smaller they're still smaller than the htc ones uh so i don't know like obviously nobody's probably used the tundra ones yet so it's hard to compare exactly but i mean i still think the tundra seems like a better deal if you're gonna go with the trackers than the htc ones to me right. i don't know i don't no, i agree yeah, yeah. So. seems like a lot of people in chat think that vr chat or yeah that vr chat is pushing vr into the future and further. Yeah, I mean, um, there's a lot of users on there. There is. Chat. I don't know if VR chat is pushing VR into the future. I think VR chat is pushing us towards the metaverse, towards the Ready Player One stuff. I think yeah. it's pushing us towards that live, like replicating yourself in VR and being in VR. Um, uh, you know, I think the drive of Facebook and stuff like that and companies is pushing VR, obviously, but um, the technology. But yeah, I don't know. I think. It's its own beast. And I think there is going to come a time where we have this weird division of like where it goes. Yeah. It's going to come. It's coming. And it should come sooner. It should be now. It really should be. But yeah, I mean, I um, think we're going to have to watch it all. I think VR chat does push VR forward, though, too, because VR chat is available in a flat game as well. And I know there's a lot of people that were super into VR chat playing on sure. a monitor that wanted to get into VR because they wanted to get inside the experience. So I think that yeah, yeah, yeah. VR oh, chat yeah. has sold uh, VR. I, I think that it has. But uh, so the other big announcement from them was the uh, the face tracking 
Sure. So, and yeah. what I want to talk about is that there was this awesome video uh, from the Neos VR guy. And I saw Kiva just said Neos is the best social app ever. So this is kind of something kind of similar to VR chat, uh, yep. but he shows using the face tracker uh, in, and it's fully supported in Neos VR already. So this is a game that if you pick this up, you can go into Neos VR and you can have the face tracking, which is pretty cool right. because I don't even think VR chat actually has the support yet for uh, this face tracker. But uh, this brings me back to another thing is that it, it's, it, it needs to be supported everywhere. You know what I mean? Like to, to buy this face tracker or mouth tracker and to be able to use it in Neos VR is cool, but it needs to be in everything. I need to be able to jump into population one and every single game that I play. And that's what would bring me into be like, man, I want this thing for everything that I talk. It matches my mouth, you know? So this all goes though, strictly back to Vi like HTC has to make it easily accessible and make their APK easy for right developers to add in if exactly. they do that it stands a chance to take off if they don't it's not going to be widely adopted i don't think so, it's going to be widely adopted anyways because it's only as far as i know this only works with the vive pro that's the right. only headset that it works with well, right, right now and now how many people have the vive pro there are a lot of people that have yeah. them it's a great headset that's one of the probably the best products you know best headset they've right. made but that still limits the market a lot you know what i mean it's it's gonna have to be included with a headset like yeah. it's gonna have to be a next gen headset that has it built in for it to start taking off and for us to see it being adopted in most <laughs> games other than that i don't think it's good like i said with the g2 how they came out with and i can't think of the name of it the uh the corporate the commercial one yeah that, that was actually the, getting ready to launch soon i can't think of the name um, now i can't either eye tracking head, and but, stuff in the face I think right it's face tracking, yeah so it's gonna take mainstream headset even though that's not mainstream that's not the one i mean but right. headsets just have it included in it mm -hmm. for it to be starting to be adopted well here's um, the thing uh is that it, well, and I wanted to mention what Reckoner says. It made me laugh, but he said, I would definitely smash that face tracker with the controllers in about five <laughs> yeah, minutes. And yeah, I would yeah. do the same thing because yeah. it, it hangs down too low. It's too bulky. I would do the exact yeah. same thing. Uh, I'd clip my headset even as yeah, it is. Climbing I do too. And yeah, I do too. I've done that multiple times. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so, I mean, the thing with this is, is that this is where the future of VR is going. It, it is going to realistic avatars. It is going to face, eye, yeah. mouth, all that stuff. But the Absolutely. thing is, is Oculus has been working on this for a long time. And I almost guarantee they're not next headset you know whether that be the pro or the quest 3 is going to have all of this built in and it is going to have they're going to make sure it has a whole lot more support than you know one two three games when it launches so it's again it's really hard for htc to come into this space and compete especially using the vive pro without you know i mean hopefully when they launch a uh standalone unit this is something that is slimmer sleeker built in stuff right. but i mean because i mean this so, is a go ahead we know with them, right, they want to do the accessories. They want to go the accessories route because of what they've offered in the past, what they've tried to do with the Cosmos. Yeah. They want to do the accessories. They want you to buy a headset and buy all this stuff for it. So, you know, if we get a true, you know, wireless headset from them, are we going to see these modules that go on to it, that get yeah, added to it? I think it would be a great thing. I really do. Uh, but that has to start from, like, the ground up. They have to know all that coming. But maybe this is just their test bed for that, too. Yeah, but it just doesn't you know, make any sense this. to me that, you know, this comes out and they're not even offering it for their latest headset. The Cosmos is their latest headset. That's the newest headset. They, you know, they, they came out with the faceplate to use the base stations and everything else. It's not I even know. work. It doesn't even work with that, as far as I know. I feel bad for Cosmos. It's owners. so really weird. Do. Yeah, like, it's yeah. so weird that that's their newest headset, but it doesn't, it doesn't support this. Like, what? Like, yep. that's so strange to me, but... Yep. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. I just think that Oculus is going to come along and smash the competition, which, you know, love Facebook or hate them. I, that's yeah. what's going to happen. I mean, they're going right. to come out with a, the next headset and all this stuff's going to be <laughs> built in and there's going to be a ton of games that support it. And all the developers are going to want to jump on board because they want to get that stuff in there too. So I love it. Tony Digital summed up my whole thought where's, on where's Facebook and to Oculus. It. VR is Demolition Man and Oculus is Taco Bell. Mark my <laughs> words. <laughs> I 100% agree. That yeah. is what I feel is going to happen. Yeah. We'll have self-driving cars and everything in that movie, basically. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. And Steve right. XM said Oculus will be able to do all of this with one camera and advanced algorithm. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. It's right. probably true. I mean, and that was something Look Mark what Zuckerberg. They do now with four cameras. Yeah, like, come exactly. on, man. And that they're was something Mark Zuckerberg see. said. You know, this is, you know, that's what they're looking at for the future is realistic avatars with face i try i mean yeah. that is when things are going to get like even this you know in neos vr you know it's cool to see all these uh different avatars and wolves and you dogs and you know 
sure. cats and all that stuff. But to me, I think what really makes this shine is when we can go into social VR stuff and it looks like I want to, I had a thought in my head and I was like, you know, we go into alt space or whatever it is, crowded sure. room, right? And I walk up and I recognize somebody because I see them and I recognize who they are by the look, not because I have to wait for a little name tag to pop up above them. You know, like walk right. in and be like, hey, there's a gaming science teacher. Like, oh, hey, there's Skiba because I recognize them. You know what I mean? And that to me is next level stuff. You know? It is, but are people going to do that? Do right. I don't think people go into VR wanting to be themselves. I yeah, think they go into right. it wanting to be somebody else. They want to be this avatar VR or chat, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. So I don't even, if we have it, will it be used? I don't know. Like full facial tracking, I don't think is, we're going to see that soon. I think the mouse stuff, I think the eye tracking, I think that could yeah, be and that'll come adopted first. in the near future. But, but I mean, I want the like that the stuff that Facebook Oculus put out, you know, a year or two back where they showed the yeah, realistic oh yeah, avatars, know. Yeah. you know, that super yeah. realistic looking avatar. And there Absolutely. are companies that are working on those super realistic avatars and making all of that kind of stuff look realistic yeah. and stuff. And you're right. I think there's a large number of people that don't want to be themselves going into VR. And I've heard people say that, you know what I mean? So Right. Uh, but I, I don't know. I think that there's like, I can understand VR chat Neos VR, but I feel like there's yeah. like, could be apps like alt space or something that is more social down to earth, a little bit less crazy that it could work right. in and that people would still maybe want to do that. I don't know. I mean, I, I even see like, it's going to get weird. Like I even see apps where like, you're not allowed to have these crazy avatars. Like it has to look like you. And then that, and that's right. going to get kind of weird too. You know, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know that I want it to be forced, but Ah, I don't know. The, the future know. is so going to be so strange. I think it would be cool if it was, you know, let's say you had a, a group of friends and you were in chat, you know, audio chat. And if you were in like, you know, your private chat and you guys were talking, you could see them or see their face and their avatar of themselves. And then if you're in a game, you're just whoever you are in that game. Yeah. Uh, I think stuff like that would be cool. But I just, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how soon we actually see it being integrated in. I mean, into a headset. I, I mean, it has to be in a headset. It has to be built into it, man. It, that's all there is to it. So yeah, I, yeah, I, agree. I think it's cool. I think it's right now it's gimmicky. I and think nobody's the, gonna have it. I think so. it's gonna take being built into headsets for it to be mass okay. adoption as well. Right. So th a lot of people are saying in chat right now is uh, Deca Gear. So yeah, you yeah. know they were wanting all that in stuff in their headsets. Yep. Um, or they had what was it a mo was it a module that had that? I no, the wireless. So. That was the module for the wireless. I'm Maybe sorry. Maybe it, it was built in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think we're still even going to see that? I don't. The deck of gear itself? Yeah. I don't know. I saw Tyreal got shipped something that was a module or something for the deck of gear. So I think they're working on it. I think it's potentially going to be a real thing that comes to fruition. And whether it's going to be good or not, I don't know. I mean, I, right. we'll have to wait and see. But I, I think it could potentially be a real product that comes out. But I haven't had, ever since I saw the first early stuff, I haven't had real high hopes on it. I've right. been a little skeptical. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a company that came out of nowhere that had some right. real high, uh, you know, expectations and hopes of what they were going to do before they actually had a real working product. They were still in the prototype sure. phase while they were making all these claims. So I, yeah. I don't know. I know. But, I'd love to see it, but yeah, yeah I'm I all hope. about I it. Hope I mean, so, because yeah. we need the competition. Right. I mean, obviously we need that, right. that competition, that market is zero for, but you that know, was the still Oculus a PC Quest VR thing. headset though. That was still PC it is, VR. It is, but it gives you that wireless freedom, yeah. you know, to, to a play wireless, wireless PC games yeah. because right now, unless you buy, what now, is it? it, uh, it had... The Vive Pro and with the wireless modules and all that, and you yeah. can do that too. But for, they're saying 400 and, 49 bucks or something like yeah, I can't that. Remember. The, the pre-order was like 50 bucks. You could get on a pre-order for like 50 bucks. But yeah, right, people are saying, right. uh, Blam Crotch said Deca Gear is a joke. It will suck. Right, right, right. Probably, uh, I Deca Gear is a scam. And then you scam. get others who think it's coming and it's yeah. real and got their 10 bucks. Well, Chad down. Williams said. Yeah, Reckoner, see the 10 yeah. bucks. There you go. I paid the 10 bucks. Yeah, I think uh, Skiva yep. did too. Skiva did the pre-order. Yeah, Deca Gear is delayed, but still working and planning on this year still. I don't know. I've, I've thrown away 10 bucks on much worse. You know what I mean? That's true. On other stuff. So <laughs> that's true. What's 10 bucks, right? Yeah. But hopefully somebody got different. that uh shooty skies overdrive. I think Anthony loves that game. He talks about that game all the time. So yeah, hopefully absolutely. somebody got that code. Uh, I don't know if somebody the super chats, uh, Starcade arcade. Uh, thank you for that super chat. I don't know if it's going to pop up now. Oh, there it goes. And say we have some issues with our, uh, thing Cheers, here, man. So, uh, 
Uh, Twenty dollars super chat too. Thank you guys so much. So we we gotta get to there. They got a studio. Just talk about that. Yeah, we got. I got. We gotta get down there at some point. So uh, they they awesome stuff they're working on with uh, Star Blazer as well as Virus Popper and then the upcoming uh, Space Slurpees, which uh, we we do have a level in there that I still haven't got to play yet that I'm still waiting to play. So, uh, but they said enjoy your next round of coffee on us. You both are the best. So hopefully we can get out to Texas sometime. We can have some coffee together and check out the new studio. That would be awesome. So I really want to do that. So, but yeah, but. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So, yeah. And Blam Crotch said Facebook has 10,000 people working on VR. Deca Gear has 10. Which one will be good? <laughs> Touche. I mean, it's a solid yeah, point. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, but at the same time, we see great stuff come out of small companies too. Yeah, so, yeah, we do. you know, they're the ones that can be pushing the boundaries and can be risking, you know, to make their name known and stuff. Um, when I was into drones, I purchased one by a company called 3DR. Uh, it was a great drone, small company, good backing and stuff. And it was an amazing drone. It just kind of fell flat because nobody bought it. You know, everyone's buying DJI stuff. So yeah, and that's the problem. kind of how it can go. Right. The hard part right now is a $299 Quest 2 headset. That is a good headset. You know, you're you're getting a great value for that $299. Yeah, you know, the hardest part. Look, no, it's not because they have no problem selling that headset at $449 if you don't have to log into Facebook. And I know it's mobile and you have to still have a PC for it. And I understand that. But a lot of people would do a lot to get away from Facebook. Yeah, I agree. So but we need a we need a competitively a priced standalone local, headset. I, and I don't know who's going to be able to do that. You know, I don't have much faith in HTC coming out with a standalone headset. It's going to be as, as you know on par. That's not five, six, seven hundred dollars. You know what I mean? That not it's, about the headset because I think there's companies that can make the headset. It's about the, the software, software and, the, and the market and the games I coming agree. on board. That's going to be the big thing. Um, I really do. Casual, Casual Ray. Ray. Thank you. Ray. Bought us a coffee. I love that. Buy, buy, buy me a coffee. Right. I know, right? I think it's so appreciate cool. It, it's so cool. So I love it. what really, we talk about all day. Really, it's really bad. appreciate it. Bad. So, yeah. And I got my uh, VR round table. I know, uh, I know uh, Reckoner is still in here. So. so Bernard makes a good point. And, you know, this is the one, the company I think that could save the day. Um, I have one more company too, which I'll say after this. But he said, uh, HP have 53,000 working in the company. Look how the G2 turned out. Obviously, there's not 53 working, but 53,000. Um, that's in total HP, which I totally get. Yeah, they're building printers. But you're right. <laughs> they're building I mean, printers. Because yeah. when, when I tried to when I tried to contact when I tried to contact HP point. for support for my clip that broke off the side right. of my headset, the cable clip that broke off like Goes the same the day, pulling it out of the box almost. I know. Uh, they didn't even want to talk to me unless I could tell them what kind of printer I had. Like I had, I, I never even talked to support. I gave I up. Know. I was like, I'm gonna order a 3D printed one off of Etsy because. I couldn't talk cheaper, to anybody. It, yeah, right. it's cheaper and easier. Like I literally tried to talk to somebody and every everything I had to select was about what printer I had. And I was like, I don't have a printer. Like I have a G2. Like, come on, give right. me through. And it was a pain in the butt and I, I gave up. So And I think that is one company that could come out, you know, with a wire if Samsung. They got their Samsung tracking could too. On point. They got Samsung, it. The one that I think could shock the world that could have the games to back it, that really could be the biggest number one oculus quest competitor is nintendo <laughs> yeah that'd be awesome but I, do. I don't know yeah 100 that would, that would, they yeah. have the lock-ins on the screens they can handle all the mobile processing they already have game de- like ultra wings already on the switch like those That's com- cool. yeah those companies literally have they have the ins they have the technology they have the battery stuff they could do it 100 percent yeah you're um, right I and mean, i think that would, that would be that. the number one biggest competitor i do is nintendo I do, they got the but, funds they got the funds and the money to be able to sure they do to do some you know absolutely yeah, i agree that would be awesome i hope we see that you know we saw them mess around with the yeah. nintendo labo stuff and all that but they i would buy it dude they oh, have yeah, it they've it tried it they know, yeah that is gonna be the biggest surprise competitor would be nintendo for me and people are saying samsung i agree samsung needs to jump on something but samsung likes to reel in their phone because that is their biggest money maker so they like to keep that tied to their phone. So I could see it yeah. tethered, still tethered to a phone. I did buy the new, um, the their best phone, hoping 
that if they do come out with something like the AR glasses, it will work with this. Um, the S21 Ultra, because Samsung had a crazy deal. Yeah, like I got 600 a 21. Bucks. I got the 21 yeah. Plus because I got it for free pretty much with a right. trade-in on my in S10. that it would work with something that comes yeah. out with the AR glasses. I, I, think, I think the problem with Samsung, with uh, HP, with all of that is they got to leave the Windows Mixed Reality platform and do their own thing. And if they don't leave the Windows Mixed Reality platform and there's a true uh, refresh of the whole system, it's I won't buy another one. And I said that before after buying a g2 i won't buy another windows mixed reality platform headset unless it's a complete redesign or samsung or hp or whatever it is leaves that platform and they do their own thing that's just my two cents i i I need my controller tracking to be on point and i can't go backwards greg's vr makes a good point samsung's waiting on a variable os to jump into onto i i agree they don't like to run their own os i think they they don't really try to pretend to have their own in any way or aspect. Yeah. And I agree. They probably are waiting on one and that's why they're on board with WMR because they just don't probably want to do it. I yeah, guess. I, I don't know, know. but and, they uh, need to, they're the ones that could, they have the financial backing, the people, yeah. the technology and the stuff they could, but I, I want to see Nintendo. I want to see Nintendo because that would be massive. You know, the, the library of Mario games and all of that kind of stuff in VR would just be, it would yeah. be so good. Zelda, you know, all of this stuff they could do would be just absolutely amazing. VR Pokemon. Yep. I mean, there, yeah, there's so much stuff. But uh, uh, Johan Liebert called you out. He said, Virtual Boy was already a thing but back in the day, but it failed. He said, your vir- Virtual Boy sitting on your shelf failed. It did fail, but they're still awesome. <laughs> they're still awesome. Yeah, I still love it. Yeah. I actually really do enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it... I mean, it wasn't, it was a viewer. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, well, a, a, I mean, that was what le- we know is late VR, 80s, early 90s. Not. Yeah. Right. It was what they viewer. did with it was pretty cool, I think, for the time. It being, was. But... I, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I like Red Alert, uh, the depth on that with the polygons and the looks and the worlds you can turn around yeah. in. I still play it and it's like, it is. It's super cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was just too, it wasn't too far ahead of its time. It was just too out there for people. Um, and just the contrast of screens. And those red, you know, some that hurt yeah. some people's eyes and stuff. It wasn't, exactly. you know, it wasn't the, it wasn't the right. best. But I think, like you said, Nintendo could do it big. And I, I, I hope that yeah. we see that someday. I don't know yep. if we will. Um, Anakaze said Apple could be the first major competitor. I still think Apple wants not much to do with VR. I think they are on board with AR, and I think yeah. that's where they're going to go with well, they it. Well, they have that headset. You know, they said that they have the VR headset or Absolutely. whatever it Which is that's coming out in still, 2022 that's supposed to be a right. thousand bucks and all that stuff. But exactly, and yeah. I don't think it's going to be. I don't know. I think it's going to be more gimmicky than I do an actual competitor. Like I don't think that it's going to be as game use i think it's going to be more experiences or social stuff which i know people like it'll be Uh, interesting i i don't have real high hopes for the apple stuff either i I don't either man i don't don't know why that is exactly but we'll have to see what happens i mean i know there's some diehard apple people that are you know very excited for it and stuff for sure and that you know we'll we'll see but uh, i did want to mention too uh that the mamut uh apto 2.0 the gun stock not the red version the stealth version is back in stock we've had a lot of people asking us about this because we talk about it and stuff we've done videos with it uh it was out of stock for a long time and they they do have it back in stock now you can order now so if this is something you were interested in uh feel free to pick one of these up i i still love this i was talking to uh oh i know uh i forget whose chat i was in and i was talking to obscure nerd vr uh uh, about playing some contractors again because we used to play this all the time and we haven't played it what you making fun of my beard because i was touching it <laughs> sorry but uh but i haven't played this in a while uh, i've played a little bit here and there but i haven't deep dived back into it uh really sure. ever since population one that's taken up a lot right, of our time right, but sure. i would love to get back into some uh some some contractors and play with everybody we've had a ton of pl- fun playing with people playing yep. the custom maps you know the hard part is now is you got pc version and quest version where the, the quest version can't play the custom maps and the custom maps are sure. so good but we need to do some more uh playing with this with people it's such a good game especially with the gun stock i love this game and okay I miss it. so well, speaking of shooters what about uh bail what do you mm. think about that man because i don't know i um, don't know if uh i mean it looks good i mean i don't know if, i know thrill seeker did a video and yeah, an, that's where uh, i heard about an interview it. with him right yeah like a dev and, spotlight kind of thing pretty cool video if you want to check that out right and I, I i don't i mean it looks good i think for them to have this much time into it i feel like it could be a little better off i think it's um, still but a little hopefully the core early. mechanics is what they're working on yeah right. i mean i think it's still a little I'm early not dogging it, but judging by right. the trailer but uh i know that uh 
uh, he was saying that, you know, really the, the core focus that they've had is on the mechanics, gameplay mechanics. And like the, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be very counter-strike esque, uh, based off, you know, counter-strike stuff. Uh, right. but he said really it's the fluidity of the weapon handling and the net code that makes him, you know, excited about this and vouch for this. So I think that and I agree. it has potential. I think that we do have a lot of first person shooters in VR, but I think that there's always something that can be done a little bit differently than others. And it's one of my favorite genres to play. So I think it, I think it, looks like it has potential from the trailer and stuff from the video i think that it maybe is still a little bit too early to judge the core game you know i don't know how far they are away from release i can't remember if they gave a date but the issue that i see with games that are in development for a long time in vr is you know when they start all this game and their you know base code and everything is built off now a game that is six years old right so where were we five years ago when they started designing all this core stuff and is it building that old? it up? I don't remember hearing that. I, I'm pretty sure it was, I think, six years in development or they've yeah, been together be right. working on it six years. Yeah. But and even if it's four years, you know, where were we three and four three years alpha ago? alpha players, Jay Ham's name's up there. I just realized that. Right? There so you go. we got to talk to him about this. We haven't played this yet, but you can yeah, sign it. You can join their Discord. Yeah, yeah, you can join and their, their he's Discord. He's talked to me and... about it a little bit before. Yeah, um, yeah and I don't... I don't know. I mean, I think it's, it looks like a good base game, but it scares me to know when stuff has been worked on that long because of where we are and how quick VR yeah. moves and the stuff, the optimizations that come out inside of a year, even in engine, you know, the engine uh, itself Changes has optimized through versions and stuff. So, yeah. you know, and then the whole game has to be reworked to work with the new versions. You know, And this is all behind the scenes stuff. So yeah. I would just... I'm really curious. I would, I would, I would love to play it. I would. Yeah. I really so you would can love sign up. It. You can get into the beta. They are in you testing can. right yep. now. Uh, you can join their Discord. Uh, I know you can get in. And Jay Ham said the team is very open with testers, and I think it'll be a pretty yep. good one later on. And that's kind sure. of my thought is that it seems maybe a little early still, okay. you know, cause I mean, you look at games like Onward and Contractors and stuff that stuff that's pretty polished, you know, in VR, this gives this look at this reminds me a little bit more Pavlov, you know, a little rougher around the edges than some of the other games. But uh, yeah. I mean, Contractors, is especially on PC VR, one of the most gorgeous shooters, I think. I mean, some of them custom maps and the lighting and stuff in there. It's I know, just, it, it's so yeah. good. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one to compete with in my eyes, but that one is one of my favorites. So I know like to watch this, it just looks basic compared to contractors. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, and I know visually this was an early map that they did. And well, all, I mean, I, and I visuals know, don't mean anything all the time. Anyways, look how much fun we have in population one and population that's one. True. Isn't the most gorgeous game you're ever going to see, but right. it's just a, a fun Hyper game. Dash. So yeah, mentioned yeah, Hyper Dash yeah. in chat. Exactly. Uh, same thing. Yeah. We have played Hyper Dash. Yeah. Uh, Kurt has said that. And yeah, I, I agree. They don't have to look, perfect mm -hmm. to have fun in it could be super basic man i yeah. mean but gorilla tag yeah. people love that it's yep. the ugliest game you'll ever see right. no, no right, offense exactly. but but it is but yeah Cheers, so Chris. yeah and i don't know i mean and yeah i i mean i have high i have hopes for anything you know Absolutely. potential down the road it's too, it you can't, yeah. yeah you can't judge it too early on things will change and stuff but you know i watched thrill seekers video he did it was a really cool interview with the devs learn a little bit more behind the scenes stuff yep. about the game uh we'll have to see i mean it's one of those games maybe we can get in do some testing we haven't played it at all and maybe maybe it's going to surprise us all and it's going to be an awesome game but like he said you know right. there's some so there's some things that shine in the game to him uh that they give him hope you know and stuff and i think that's cool one one game i did Absolutely. want to mention that that we need to jump back into is uh drive by they changed the name from drive by vr they changed the name to i don't know if it's gang v or gang five uh but it's looking pretty good from actually some of the stuff i've seen put out it was pretty rough early on in the beta testing uh we need to jump back in though and see they've been doing some play tests we can get in there together uh if you haven't we've I mean, talked about it it's uh basically grand theft auto uh gta dude, in vr even the name is a rip even yeah, the name is a rip now I, I love it i know so it was pretty rough early on but i think that they i mean these are from the developers that stand out right. and ward us so not always the most polished games anyways, but uh, I need to jump back in because it's looking like they've done a lot of work in there and I yeah. do want to check it out. And I have hopes that it could be a pretty, cause even standout, you know, it was, we spent a ton of time in that game. It wasn't the most polished game. Didn't look the best, but it was a ton Just of like fun. Said, right? So, I mean, even the glitches and the bugs and stuff can be fun sometimes. So I'm sure. going to, Jump back gang in Gang five, V, the yep. Gang Five, Gang V, whatever. I'm gonna jump back in there this yep. week because I'd like to see the updates they've done. But I thought it was kind of weird they changed the name. Obviously, yeah. kind of a rip off from uh, GTA as well. It, but I don't know how they don't have a lawsuit coming already. Yeah, that's well, Rockstar. I yeah, mean, Rockstar. Watch careful. out. Careful. Yeah, yeah, careful. Careful. Get to the chopper. Yep. Just a beard. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, man. Good seeing you, Genova. He said Good he's he said man. he's gonna unsubscribe if I take the beard off. He told me that. So. Right. 
Uh, is there is any there footage any... of drive? Oh my gosh, dude! If I could play my theft f- early online. footage of that, it was I, rough. It was it, rough. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was uh, literally. I think there is some footage. If I jump in, I might see if they'll let me put out some footage. I think they will. I so maybe I probably just try now. to record it. Uh, right. Maybe the week. Maybe we could even live stream it. Us playing it together. They would probably be okay with that. Uh, we can find yeah, out. Yeah, probably but, now. Yeah, yeah, it's polished enough now for sure. So the maybe, early days. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to do that this week coming up. Maybe we'll ask them yeah, about true. that because it's it, it's Thursday. interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, maybe Thursday. Yeah. So it is inter- interesting. We'll see about that, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <sighs> but man, it's oh, good man. to have We've you back. We've always wanted a GTA Five, right? Yeah, but I want I want Rockstar's version of GTA Five. Well, and, who and VR. doesn't, man? <laughs> Come on, who doesn't? Right. Who right, doesn't right. want to go hang in like my high rise apartment and go see all my cars in the garage uh, and stuff? Like, uh, dude, so we did fun. that for hours. We would man. fly around in a helicopter, That's, shooting uh, people. Like, dude, it was monster. so fun. Like, oh my it's gosh, so man, I know it's so good to It'd do all that. Literally in VR. And I know, I know we can do all the, you know, a Vorpex stuff. And I know, done it. I, I just, it's not I've done it too. It's not the same. And you can't do online. You can't do the multiplayer. Right. And it's right. just not yeah. the same with the controller, you know, without having, you know, tracked motion controllers and yeah. all that. Oh, uh, Wolf Raza said, hit the like button. Um, I Actually, the like button's broke. Um, you can try it though. Just try it and see. <laughs> yeah, just try and see if it works. Maybe it'll work yeah, for you. It might, it might work now. I don't know. We've been having <laughs> issues. We've been having issues. <laughs> good stuff good stuff but uh, anyways yeah yeah so i know man it's been crazy for me but i think this week on my list warplanes dude yeah. uh, warplanes this especially weekend, multiplayer sure. co-op yeah let's do it yeah uh some drive-by and what was the other one that somebody said was co-op uh somebody said something else was co-op too i forget um oh, but sure. i wanted to play too but yeah definitely more co-op man i just <laughs> i need to play with people yeah. Missed everybody. Yeah. I've been busy too. Cause I've been back to work, you know, I had a little bit of time off of work and that was kind of nice as I got better, but then I've been back to work. So, you know, Tyler was back to work this, uh, this week as well. So it's been kind of crazy, but I do have Here's still some, week, some pretty months, cool yeah. stuff, uh, planned, uh, for some videos. I've been trying to do at least one video a week on top of the coffee and VR show. So I'm trying to stick with at least that. So I have some pretty cool stuff been working on. Yep. There's also some pretty cool stuff, uh, that, that's getting sent to us that I can't wait to show some products of. It's really pretty interesting that I haven't seen before in VR. That's going to be pretty sure. cool. And, uh, make sure you check out that battery bank too. Uh, there's been a uh, Caleb. In Everyone our, likes uh, it. Man. Yeah. And our yeah, discord, he, did he got his yep. really likes it. Uh, it's a great battery bank and the discount code is still good. I think to the end of this month for, I think it was like 10% off or whatever it was that's in the in the video of the unknown quest 2 accessories or whatever but great battery bank for the quest 2 i've been using it it's been on my wife's quest actually and it's it's been great it's the the best battery bank i've used so far and i got the vr power great. as well as the vr energy and all of that but pretty yep. cool so yeah uh yeah and i uh, uh make I still sure like my my lead strap still man it's yeah that's still my go that's still what's on my <laughs> headset i got the battery bank but that battery bank is awesome and, and especially because you can't get the the elite battery bank strap so the way to right. go if you ask me is buy the 50 dollar one and then buy that battery bank because uh, i mean that's it uh, yeah that's the case the case right. sucks anyway. So yeah, that would be my way to go. I'm telling you, it's a great option. If I didn't have the elite battery strap already, that would be what I would be running on mine. How did they screw that case up though? They could have just redid the first one. The first one was great, man. Yeah, I love that. First they didn't case. put that garbage zipper and stuff on there. That zipper is Or the terrible. divider for the yeah. controllers. Yeah, Junk. it's terrible. And the old one I used to be able to get my bad, grips, but... like my Mamut grips into mm-hmm. the case. This one, it's like, uh, yeah. it's just frustrating. And I think it's it, crazy that they make you get that with the Elite battery strap, that you can't just buy the Elite battery strap by itself without that stupid case. That's Because they knew the case too. was junk. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> they had much. to get rid of some of them. <laughs> pretty much. Or people to buy. Yeah. Oh, so. um, Paul P. Jr. said, who won the climb to? And that's that's still, still going, going on. I think that's till tomorrow. So yeah. I believe, unless it ended today and I'm wrong, but I, I believe that's uh, still tomorrow. So I believe you can still sign up for that. Uh, Liberty said, what battery pack? Um, that it's is the, the Nirvana. So there you go. I kept yeah, saying Nirvana. It's the, the Nirvana. Yeah. Up. If you go back and watch the video, there's a link in there <laughs> that, uh, well, you don't have to use the link, but there's a, a discount code. I think it was, I can't remember if it was, uh, I rendered or rendered reality, but, but there's a discount code that you get 10% off. So it's worth using it. And I think it's like a 30 some dollar battery bank, but it works great. I mean, it really is a nice battery bank. So yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, GoTo said, okay, can the guy on the left wear the uh, beard for a bit? Let's try it out. Yeah, we should do that, man. You need to you grow a beard. Seriously. Why don't you grow a beard? You should. Dude, I've never my, seen you with oh, a beard. It grows so fast, though. I, 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 I that's good. I turned a grizzly monster in like right. three days, man. Everybody put a comment that Tyler no, needs to grow a beard. Don't, don't at start, least for like man. a month or don't two. Start. Come on. At least for like a month a or two. Month it's or just two. it's just a month oh, or man. two. It's not. I mean, I've been doing this since like end of July. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is ridiculous. I go in public and people stare. I go and public and people stare and they point at me and they, they mumble and they, they, you know, they, they're, it's just, you know, I get hassled all the time, but you know, I do it for the people, you know, because they keep telling me like, like, uh, uh, you know, people saying they'll unsubscribe if I cut it off. It's not up to me anymore. I'm not watching chat. It's not up to me anymore. You you just got to do it. You know what I mean? People are saying, do it, Tyler. Turning, I'm turning. (laughs) Give it a shot. Tyler beard for the win. Tyler grow beard. Beards are too hot in the summer. They are, but that's all right. Beard, do it. Tyler grow beard from star. Arcade, arcade come on man at least a month or two all right if we hit ten thousand by the end of the year i'll do it oh, about you guys that? heard it everybody hit that subscribe button that that over 50 percent that watches these videos that aren't subscribed everybody mm. hit it i've i've known tyler pretty much my whole life i mean i remember riding the school bus with him in elementary school yeah and, and thinking back then he needed a beard so i even oh, think whatever. <laughs> I think, it, hair growing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be awesome I, i've never seen him with facial oh. hair i mean you might have to get permission from the wife because the wives don't always like him but i think a month or two is okay i think it's okay I hey, think if we hit ten thousand, she can yell at me all day let's every day it. i guess let's do it let's do it come on people Ten thousand. let's stop, do it stop. and remind okay. me if we hit ten thousand, like in december you know 31st and then just remind me that he said that because by then i might forget so. killing me small <laughs> but <laughs> make sure you sign up for the uh gleam giveaway in the description for the climb too i think it ends tomorrow so we'll be emailing the winner for that one uh yes. if you buy the merch if you buy the merch use has- hashtag rr merch post it to yep. twitter instagram a chance to win an 80 dollars steam card or 80 dollars for oculus quest games or oculus games whatever you want we'll buy them and, and send them to you what if I put? I want to take some pictures. Yeah, you can. Well, I'm gonna delete your entry out of the uh, out of the thing. But what, but but what we're gonna do is like we're gonna let a month go by, and then we're gonna take everybody's name that posted. We're gonna put it into a random drawer, and then somebody randomly selected is gonna get that. So Rizzle Rock, beard or bust. There you go, beard or bust. Come on, man. <laughs> Daniel Burnett, another one says beard. It says beard. It hasn't come through yet, but uh, so awesome. Thank you for those super chats, and hopefully we can make it happen. So hopefully we can make it happen. That'd be yeah, cool. if we have ten thousand subs. You might thing. love it. You might you might grow a beard for like a month or two, and you might be like, "Holy crap, this is the greatest food saver I've ever had." And you might never want to get rid winter, of it. Winter, it would be warm. It is. I'm telling it you, it's be. nice. <laughs> yeah, like your face, it's like it's like having your face wrapped up in a nice nice blanket all day long. It's great. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. We'll see. We'll see. It's <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. Uh, you're making right. me sweat just thinking about it. There right, it is. There it came then. through. Daniel Burnett, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the super chat. Seriously, the super chats, the buy me a coffees, the Patreon Seriously, supporters. Gosh. We absolutely appreciate it. We we try to give back with all this stuff, and that's how we do uh, these yeah, giveaways really and do. stuff. It's, it's, yeah, we love it. We love thank it. you so much. We love turning around. Yeah, we love this community. Uh, great to see German Rifter here today. Uh, you know, Great to see a lot of these people here today. Really appreciate you. Guys, want to continue you. the conversation, join the Discord. Yeah. Uh, it links all in the description for anything you guys need. I don't know. Peer pressure. Yeah, I don't give it peer pressure. Oh, I no, get out of here, Fluke. Get out of I here. I don't give it peer pressure. I'm the last person. Uh, I knew, come on. You know me well enough. I'm yeah. not that guy. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I sign up and I say 10,000. My word's my yep, words. Yep, we're going to do it. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. We got to hit it. Got to hit it by this year. VR, VR Wife Life said Tyler just rolled his eyes at you. So I'm probably at me, I'm guessing. But yeah, uh, good stuff. All that. I'm in trouble. But yeah. Yep. But it was, glad, it was great yep. to have Tyler back. Thank you again to Skiva, Alex, and Gamertag VR for last yes. week. I also have these stickers that I got that I love that uh, are going to be thrown into some boxes for some giveaway stuff that we do. If, if they ship out from us, uh, I'm excited about those. So, yeah, but thanks again, everybody, for watching. You guys are great. We love this show and uh, this community. Absolutely right. fantastic. Definitely not feeling the beard idea. I'm not feeling it, but my word is my word, man. I, I'm telling I, you, I don't you might love it. You might, you might love it. Bearded <laughs> Beard reality. Bearded reality. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be man. so great. Right. So, yeah, but we got to get out of here. Hopefully, we're going to go play something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hopefully, you guys like the yep. new merch. Check it out. Let us know ideas. There is a merch yeah, uh, section in our Discord if you have ideas yep. for stuff. If you have something that you want, you know, tweaked a little bit, let us know. We might be able to come up with that, uh, yeah, move man. some things around. There is some more stuff coming too. We got some other ideas. So, we've been having fun yep. with that. So, yeah, but thanks so much to everybody. And uh, I guess we got to get out of here. We'll talk all day, but we will. Glad to hang out. We'll see you guys back here. See you in VR. And, uh, next week.
right? Next Saturday, same time, same place. Yep, that's right. We'll see you then. Cheers, guys. Yep, later, everybody. Later.